Welcome to the Quality Problems Podcast, where we see problems as opportunities to learn, develop, and grow, both on a personal level and with your dog. In this podcast, we'll provide a unique perspective and the tools you'll need to take on challenges and come up with problem-solving solutions. The bigger the problem, the bigger the opportunity. Now let's get to problem-solving. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Quality Problems Podcast. It's your host, Stan Smith, CEO of XDog. And of course, I got my partner in crime over to my right, Mr. Logan White. What's going, going on, on, brother? everybody? Yeah, man. This is a milestone. Uh, it's, you know, we always talk about being the DECA boys, and this is episode yeah. 10, yeah. you know? So um, this is a, a very unique episode. It's an episode I've been looking forward to. Um, the topic of discussion is stop pretending to be average. And I think a lot of us uh, fall in the realms of taking certain areas of our lives mm -hmm. and take an average approach to it. And yeah. a lot of those areas don't serve us. But then we go like super hard in the paint. Like we're like professional Olympic style efforts when it comes to shit that don't serve us. Yeah. Um, as far as that goes, in one of those areas, let's talk about um, – what areas do you feel that people struggle with the most when it comes to uh, pretending to be average, I guess? Uh, I would say, I would say, um, you know, something I relate to and I think a lot of people like my age relate to is like fitness and nutrition. You know, we all, you go to the gym all the time, you know, uh, you try to eat good, but at the end of the day, like it's so easy to sit down some fucking pizza or you know some ice cream you know or it's so easy to go into the gym and go through the motions yeah. you know what i mean and then you look at yourself and two months later you're still you're doing the same shit you know and i think that's when people are just like they accept it the fact that they're just going through the motions and they're being average the whole time like they feel like they're doing it you know yeah but in reality like the results don't show it yeah you know what i mean uh, but first thing in the morning when they wake up what do they do reach their fucking yeah. phone and get on social media. Yeah. You know, and um, they'll go hard in the paint when it comes to uh, posting, mm -hmm. you know, um, commenting. Some people have uh, issues when it comes to, uh, they're like, they put, a, they put a massive amount of effort into debating sometimes on posts. Yeah. Instead of inspiring, you know, like that. And it, I think it's just something, man, that w where we, when we really look at it, um, we all struggle with average efforts yeah. and thinking that we come up with these crazy ass stories, bro. Like some of the stories that, that we get from the, for example, the I am X dog challenge is like, man, I just don't have enough time, mm -hmm. you know, or my schedule's too busy. Well, what are you busy at? Right. Cause a lot of people, man, like you say, man, they'll go, there's no average effort when it comes to like, man, I'm hungry. Let me go hit. Uh, let me go hit one of these fast food restaurants. Yeah, exactly. Let me well, get out of bed and do right. this shit. And I think that's the whole point of the IMX Dog Challenge was, uh, you know, it, it's so easy to just to fall off, and it's so easy just to, or I'll do it tomorrow, or I'll I'll restart, you know. But that's the whole point, and then the topic is, you know, stop being average. Like, you know, stop doing the same shit everybody else is doing. You know, get up in the morning and. Hydrate yourself and, and write what you're thankful for instead of uh, you know, grabbing your phone and laying in bed for 30 minutes laughing at videos. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, get up and get active or, uh, you know, the same shit you do. I mean, that's what I, I started doing that. I mean, and I still struggle with that too, you know, uh, just being on the same, doing the same thing constantly, constantly. Like, Well, if you got to think about it, man, when it comes to personal growth and development, um, it's an everyday activity. Yeah. Like, you have to work on it every day. It's not like once you – here's the thing where I think people get the misconception is that let's say you get to a certain point of success or you get to a certain level of fitness that all of a sudden your problems go away. Yeah. They don't go away, man. Like, no. you know, like um, a lot of people feel like it's, you know, if they add longevity or they've been around for a certain period of time that in a way that they're, it's a merit to I deserve this because I've been here for the longest. But what I've known is, is that – the more people that we bring on to delegate to help Steven and I, mm -hmm. it's not that we get less busier. We still got just as much much on our plate, if not right. more, you know. Um, as far as like with your responsibilities is, you know, you came on as a sales rep and then all of a sudden now you're you're managing wholesale, you're managing uh, certain social media channels, you're managing certain uh 
product ads. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, you're, you're doing retention. On top of that, you're calling yeah. leads. <laughs> it's fucking dude. It's, it's, <laughs> from 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 the start to now, it's it's insane, you yeah. know. Um, and I accept the fact that we're growing and that um, it's not going to slow down. Yeah. So since I accept the fact that we're growing and we're not going to slow down, like I can't sit here and think I'm going to keep doing the same shit I was doing three months ago. Because if I do the same thing I was doing three months ago within the company or within my own personal life, you know, nutrition, exercise, and stuff like that, I'm, I'm going to be at the same spot I was, you know? Where do you think where do you think it, it evolves? You know, like we all have these seeds that are inside us, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, some of us, we... we they're good or bad. Some sometimes we cultivate and nurture the the good seeds. Sometimes we cultivate and nurture the bad seeds. But at some point in our life, there has to be a time where we go, or somebody influenced us to the point where we're nurturing some of the self doubt seeds, right? Yeah. Like we get into the situation, like for example, when you were a kid, right? You're a baby. You you subconsciously were not aware of this, but you couldn't walk, right? Mm-hmm. So you started out by crawling, then you right. began walking, and then you fell. What do you? What was your mindset when you fell? What do you think it was? Yeah, I mean, you're gonna get your ass back up yeah, and try to walk like, again, right? Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. <laughs> but we don't do that when it comes to like, oh man, I made this effort when I made this call on this sale, and this person said no. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me give up. Yeah. But if they took the same mindset and go, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna call the next person. Yeah, I'm gonna call the next, next person. Yeah. I'm gonna call the next person. But there has to be a time in our life where I feel like something influenced it. Yeah, I, I I got what you're saying, and I, I think um, I mean prior to getting on here, I mean because personally you're 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 my mentor, right? I mean from one of them, one of them, yeah. You know, but you know you're the main person that that put me on Ed and Andy. You're you know mm-hmm. Gary. I mean, put me on these podcasts and and, and stuff like that, and obviously the challenges of seventy five hard and all that. So, uh, but prior to that though, I was I was average. I was I mean, and I'm not saying I'm not average. You know, I'm not saying that. I don't still don't do average shit because yeah. that's something that everybody struggles with. Yeah. You know, but uh, that's, um, I think that was a turning point, what you're kind of saying, a turning point on when, when that, uh, that seed starts to grow a little bit. Yeah. yeah I mean, that, that's where I was at with it, man. It was, um, honestly, probably like the, I would say March or April of this, of this year, I was like, dude, like, I want to, you know, we're growing. I want to have this. I want to have that. I want to be able to, uh, you know, enjoy what I'm doing and, and, and grow, you know, financially, personally and all that. So uh, I think that's kind of when the, the turning point. Do you think it's like a fair like, fair assessment to go th- to say that, you know, your pack influences your efforts in a way? Yeah. Like your crew, the people you surround Fuck yourself yeah, with. yeah, dude. It, you know. Who you look up to. Who you look up to and who you surround yourself with is, a, is a, one of the biggest things you can do, man. Um, but you know what's really crazy? The catch twenty two about that is that you should not compare yourself to somebody else's success. Yeah, that's that's because that's I look at too. it like this too, man. Like you can't look at yourself at where I'm at and Steven's at right now in this business, right? Because mm-hmm. you're young, you're twenty three. But mm-hmm. then I look at you and I go, "Holy shit, he's twenty three!" And look where his mindset is at. My mindset wasn't even close to that at right. your age, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, you you know the proof's in the pudding. You know, you you surround yourself. You surround yourself with people that uh, you know, are going to grow. They're going to help you grow. It's going to um, be on your ass and hold you accountable. Yeah. You know, that's going to be, you know, make sure you're responsible and shit like that. And you're going to grow. You know what I mean? Um, what was uh, I mean, a question for you. What was the the time that you decided to, you know, start stop being? I, I'm not saying you're not average, but you know what I mean. From I'm average as shit. I do a lot of shit. Average, <laughs> even a lot of you know average. What I'm effort. saying. When was the the time frame where you decided to like? You got to flip the switch, you know? Honestly, it's like when, uh, well, there's a couple times where I thought, where there's one time I thought I switched, it hit the switch, and that was like, and then again, it was probably a seed, right? Mm-hmm. Because everybody, when they, what happens is, is like, right, we, we have these seeds and we expect them to grow overnight. Yeah. Right? But that's not the case. So let's say the seed was planted when I was sitting on the couch and I was th- thumbing through Instagram, being all depressed and probably drunk, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, that's when I ran across Andy, Andy's, one of his posts where he was just ranting, like, stop being a fucking loser yeah. piece of shit, right? And yeah. it's something about that, that, that little, you know, that little uh, post that he did that sat home with me where I was like, okay, we got to level up. But then, obviously, I didn't because when I hired everybody else on and stuff, I was still drinking, right? Mm-hmm. 
and it was probably due to stress and stuff like that. But I did take the initial steps and started to cultivate that seed in the in yeah. the surroundings. And then, you know, December 2nd, I get my DUI. Mm-hmm. That's when it really woke me up. Yeah. Then I started making massive efforts. I, it was like I drew a line in the sand. There's no gray area. Yeah. Either I'm in or I'm out. Or I'm out right? Mm-hmm. And then from there on, it's constant cultivating, cultivating, cultivating. Like I, people don't know, man, like this whole IMX Dog Challenge, it does stem off a challenge that I did from one of my mentors called 75 Hard, and I failed it twice. There's nothing worse than getting 56 days in and, yeah. and missing a fucking selfie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it's I mean? It's like shit. Yeah. I, I think, man, I, I think it boils down. Like nobody's perfect, you yeah. know? So the word average is it's always going to be there because you – there's so many different things in your life that you can be good at uh-huh. and that you can grow in. But, you know, like like nobody's perfect, man. So um, I strive every day to find something that I can grow myself in like, and, and, and stop being average in that. Yeah. You know, if it's from waking up from, you know, instead of waking up at 7.30, start waking up at 6.30 so I can get more shit done, yeah. you know. Um, or if it's, you know, doing the extra rep in the gym or, or if it's uh, – you know, eating better. All there's so many different things you can do, um, you know, for self growth. Sure. And, and nobody's perfect, so I think just the biggest thing is working towards each of those categories and yeah. and, and, and t- telling yourself you're not average in anything that you're doing. You know. I think you know what we do different here at X Dog than any other company that I know of that's in the pet industry is that we we do generalize and bring awareness. Yeah. You know, like there were some things that people were uncomfortable about when it when I started the IMX Dog Challenge, you know, because it does bring up the awareness. Am I subconsciously living vicariously mm-hmm. through my dog? You know? Yeah. You know, so I, I, I noticed that there was a I noticed I noticed a lot of things where people were kind of like hiding out because it's hard to face the truth, man. You know, yeah. the, the attempt to actually look in the mirror, it's really, really tough. We want to we want to fix our surroundings, you know, and that's another thing, you know, at, at my house, you know, everything's really great right now um, as far as the, with my family and my home life and the mm-hmm. business and we're going to face different challenges and all. But as far as like that goes, you know, I was thinking that by fixing everything else around me, mm-hmm. that should be enough. You know what I mean? Right. And it all boiled down to me fixing myself, leading by example, doing it over an extended period of time and, Doing this IMX Dog Challenge is all for me in reality. Yeah. You know, um, if people want to join on, great. But it's, I know I have to be accountable. I can't right. do, I can't have this average attempt because if no one's watching, what am I doing? Right. You know, and, I have integrity. And yeah. you know, you know, you can tell when someone's doing it and when someone's not doing it. Yeah. No, you can. I mean, it, it <laughs> it's obvious, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think, like I was saying, just the biggest thing is just, focus on the little the little things you know you win in the little things the big things gonna come the big prize at the end is gonna come it's kind of like a recipe right yeah so if you, you're missing let's say this a recipe calls for like a half a tablespoon of, of baking soda right mm-hmm. and you miss it it can really fuck up that recipe yeah absolutely and people they 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 focus they put let's say they put above average focus on the big picture and they put an average attempt and focus on the minor things that really compound and make the difference. Yeah. I mean, you know, for whoever's listening, I'm still, honestly, when it comes to, uh, you know, and, and, and here, it, you know, it's kind of, it's it's real. I mean, you know, people see me interact in the group and stuff and, and all that, but even with my dogs, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being an average dog owner. Uh and obviously, you know, I come in here and I, and I, and I grind a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm putting in the work. I'm, I'm doing that. But that's where I'm average right now when it comes to being and leading by example. Like, I, I'm not – like, I'm, I'm doing the best for, you know, myself when it comes to getting hit in the gym, trying, yeah. to, trying to eat better, um, making an extra phone call, making an extra sale, you know, doing those things. I'm, I'm not trying to be average in that, but it's like I'm focusing on all that. And then when I get home, I'm just being an average dog owner. You tell yourself this story that oh, I'm yeah. tired, or I can wait till tomorrow, or yeah, like and like you said, I mean the excuse excuse driven. You don't, um, oh, I don't have time, or yeah. uh, you know, I'll do it tomorrow, yeah. you know, or that type of shit. And the it's next like, meal, yeah, the next meal. That that's that's being average. Yeah, you know, um, 
fucking dude, you have 24 hours in a day. Yeah. You know what I mean? You sleep probably six or seven. What are you doing with the rest of your time? You know, that's, that's something I started looking at was like, yeah. shit, I get up at six or seven. You know, what am I doing till I go to bed? And I, you know, shit, 12 o'clock. Yeah. You know what I mean? Am I going home from nine to 12 and not doing anything? Uh-huh. Just fucking sitting on, you know, looking at Instagram and, and, and you know, on Netflix and shit? Or am, yeah. I, am I putting in the extra work, planting seeds for the next day? You, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, you're self-honest about that, so that brings awareness. But, man, one of the hardest things is being self-disciplined, man. Mm-hmm. Being self-disciplined. Self-honesty and self-discipline, I feel like, are the two biggest things right. that people focus on, have an average a focus on, but should focus on the most because they make the biggest difference. Yeah. I, that's just my opinion on that. You know, like, when I looked in the mirror and go, I'm accountable for everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm... There's a reason why I'm overweight. There's a reason why I'm not happy. There's a reason why. And it all boiled down to I wasn't putting in the work. I had an average attempt Mm -hmm. to an effort towards personal growth and development. Yeah. No, I mean, this is my my motto on on how I go about my day. You either win the fucking day or you lose it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you're winning the day, then you're getting your ass up and fucking handling your business. You're getting your ass up and, and, and doing, you know, Making the extra, like for me, making the extra phone call or making the, uh, you know, the extra rep in the gym. Because if you want to fucking lose 30 pounds, <laughs> yeah. going to the gym and just going through the motions of being average ain't going to do it. Yeah. You know, and, and that goes for anything. I yeah. mean, you want to lose 30 pounds when it comes to, you know, eating better? Yeah. Well, fuck, man. If you, you continue to smash a, you know, water burger every day, then it's not going <laughs> to do it, you know? Yeah. So I, I focus on winning the day every single day. And you, and you don't win every single day. Yeah, you know, you you take losses, I and mean, nobody's perfect, like I said, but it's about not having that average mindset and constantly thinking that you're gonna get there. It's kind of having that, you know, you want to have more wins than losses, but yeah. it, it's kind of crazy because the irony of that is, is that you're gonna probably get more losses than wins mm-hmm. in certain areas when you when you address pro- problems and challenges, but over those losses, you learn. Mm-hmm. and you develop and grow. So there's there's a lot of balancing when it comes to what you focus on uh, that's going to serve you and what you focus on that doesn't serve you. But, you know, one thing that I always said is I don't – with this company, man, this brand, what makes me come alive, it's cool that we sell physical goods and stuff, but mm-hmm. just bringing awareness and – I don't. I don't know, man. Like we we have a really good personal relationship with a lot of a lot of our clients, man. Yeah, it's it's all about it's helping people. You, you know, know, every every time we get someone who does complain in like another group, it, we can always say that customer probably bought it from where uh, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because we can't touch them. You yeah, know what I mean? no, I mean that's true, man. I mean that's the that's every the, time, like nine times out of ten, right? That's, that's yeah, that's something you preach. Um, Retention, 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 and customer service. That's something you preach because, uh, you know, look at some of these other companies out there that, you know, have three stars or two stars and, and having complaints. It's because their retention service and their customer service is average. Like, and, <laughs> and we strive every day, you, you know, you hop on, you know, all of us as a, as a collective group to over-deliver and to, you know, make as much impact as we can on with any customer, regardless of what it is. Yeah. You know, like vest exchange, you know, product exchange. Uh, somebody needs help just with their nutrition on their dog, or yeah. even if they just have questions, like at nine o'clock at night, like we just over deliver. And I think that's the reason why we're we're talking about what we're talking about right now because we don't want to be that average company to where we just. Uh, you know, we put off fucking customer service and we, you know, we get back to somebody 24 hours later or we, you know, that's it's, not. It's a culture that we've created up yeah. here, man. Like people get so comfortable with us when it comes to having a relationship with us that they'll hit us up at nine, ten yeah. o'clock at nine. It's like, seriously, you can yeah. hit me up at nine. <laughs> yeah. Nine, you want me to look but at it's you? cool, you know, yeah. because it's like at the end of the day, it's like, I mean, because I, I view myself as a consumer as well sometimes, yeah. man. Like I know I'm selling the product and. You know, I don't know how many of these things I've sold. Well, you're you're a considered, a, a, like I said, a consumer and a. I see you as an entrepreneur. You know, yeah. So like, you know both sides. Yeah. So like, if I was cool with you know a salesman of the of a company that you know I could call him and be, hey, bro, my uh, my dog started having diarrhea or <laughs> my dog's I need my dog to gain a little more muscle, a little more weight. Yeah. That's because your dog is like your he's like your son or your you know it's 
It's family. You know what I mean? So, like, people don't hesitate to contact you at fucking 10 o'clock at night because it's like, yo, and we're cool. We, we allow that. Yeah. Because that's that's where we're at, you know? Well, I would say a goal is a seed, right? So a lot of our clients have goals, so they plant those seeds. Mm-hmm. But, again, when it comes to body transformations or certain goals, yeah, those seeds need to be cultivated, and it takes time. I think, you know, a lot of people aren't patient. Every, mm-hmm. You know, this whole internet thing, man, has fast-tracked everything. Yeah. You know, you ask someone like Gomi the other day, he's like, man, I don't expect to be what I'm doing now up here, you know? Mm-hmm. And then he's getting a shit ton of emails, and we go in, and we have to go in and go, hey, look, we're streamlining this and, and putting everything in under one umbrella because mm-hmm. we're getting emails from EarthVet. And then uh, uh, Muscle Bully, MVP K9, and then mm-hmm. X Dog, and then X Dogvest.com, and then the four Amazon channels, yeah. and then the four, uh, we're getting communication from four social media yeah. channels on Instagram and on uh, Facebook and on YouTube. And it's just like, dude, we get, when I say, I'm not joking when I say we get hundreds of emails daily. Mm-hmm. It's, it's crazy. It's easy to get lost, you know, and we're trying. It's not that we're trying to put an average attempt on it, but now we're making an attempt to streamline yeah. it so we can actually even improve it. Yeah, I mean, the whole, like, you know, the, the topic, um, you know, stop pretending to be average, it, it goes for so many things. Like I yeah. was saying, I mean, even people, we're talking kind of talking about our business right now. So if you're listening and, you know, you're starting up a business or you have a business yeah. and shit's not falling the way you need it to be or you're not growing, take a look at your customer service. Yeah. Take, a, take a look at your retention. Take a look at... um. You know, your products, take a look at what it's going to take to not be doing the same shit you were doing three months ago. And that, that goes for business. That goes for fucking nutrition, <laughs> exercise, um, you know, your dogs. I mean, whatever it is. Your relationships, your, whether you yeah. Whether, everything. Yeah, right? it goes for everything. If, if you if you're constantly thinking, oh, you know, like I, I hate the I hate the concept, you know, and this is no shot to nobody. I mean, people, do, you know, you have your own life, but. The, you know, the eight, I work nine to five and I'm satisfied and, you know, I go home, I, I cook dinner. But uh, here's the thing. They're not really satisfied. Yeah. I think they make an average, they feel like they don't deserve more and that that's the best that it's yeah. good that they're going to get, you know? Yeah. And the reality is you're not average. So you need to stop yeah. thinking that you're average. Stop pretending you're average. Have you gone out and looked and said, you know what? I mean, I applied for 20 different job, dream jobs that I had. Yeah. Have I took action and started making the initial steps of writing down a business plan to, mm-hmm. and a goal from to be able to transition from my current state of income mm-hmm. to what I really want to do? And like, yeah. I can almost guarantee you nine times out of ten, no. Mm, yeah. Am I reading the proper books? You know, to, to educate myself. Am I actually getting online? Dude, there's so much information mm-hmm. online. Yeah. It's ridiculous and almost excuseless not to be able to do what you want for a living. Absolutely. It's fucking, dude, like, you know, there's so many ways to make money. Yeah. There's so many ways to, um, you know, like even fucking, I, like even people that, uh, you know, they go and pay for a gym membership or, or a CrossFit, you know, it's fucking seventy dollars a month. Yeah. It's like, yo, go to Instagram and look up videos. Yeah. Get a fucking a list and write down ten workouts a day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's so many, you know, influencers out there that have their own page and they post workouts for free. Like shit like that or just how to, you know, manage um you know, manage your money on certain podcast and there's <laughs> they, so much uh, shit you can do man it's like they put so much they put a, a great effort into the story that they keep telling themselves yeah. on why they can't do it or why they can't have it where instead you need to switch that mindset of why you deserve it and what you're going to do to get it done you know yeah. you know we always get people saying, you know, there's just so many struggles. Well, the struggles is what you want, man. Yeah. You want struggles. Struggles cultivate, create challenges, and challenge cultivates growth. Yeah. You don't want it to be easy. Yeah, I mean, we, we're talking about average right now, right? So, watch, we're gonna launch this vest. Yeah. And six months later, we're gonna look at this vest and be like, this vest is average. <laughs> What can we do yeah. to this fucking vest to where it's like, you know what I mean? It, that's constant growth. That's yeah. constantly coming up with a better idea, constantly serving people, helping people, and turning something that we see right now is like, holy shit, yeah. <laughs> we launched this right now, it's, it's a wrap. Yeah. But reality, six months later, that's going to be an average vest compared to what we're going to come out with. You know what I mean? So it goes for so many things, man. You Because know, you learn on the way, man. There's so many learning. How much have we learned in the last 
dude. Since we, it's crazy, right? We keep evolving. Yeah. So, I mean, it, evolve or repeat, bro. Evolve or repeat. I love that. So, so I guess the big question you need to ask yourself, and we want to bring awareness to you guys, is what are you doing that you feel is an average attempt, an average effort in an area where you can actually grow? Where mm-hmm. are you weak at? What are you scared of? Jump into those. Face your fears. If you fail, so what? You're going to learn, right? So stop pretending that you're average, all mm-hmm. right? So, again, thank you guys, man. Um, man, we appreciate you guys tuning in. We do this all for free. If you find any type of golden nuggets, share this with a friend. Invite a friend to come listen to this podcast. To subscribe to our YouTube page. So subscribe to our iTunes um, account or, you know, or our Spotify and if you can leave us leave us a review but worst case scenario share it you know mm-hmm. share it that's we're trying to do things and cultivate growth and we know that this this for a fact if you're going to surround yourself around us and be part of our pack and you're really part of X dog yep. you're going to grow and you're going to be uncomfortable and you need to get used to being uncomfortable and you need to stop pretending to be average because we're not going to allow you to be average so yeah. thank you again from Logan and myself man we appreciate your support and of course Gomi man we appreciate all his efforts to setting this up, man, we couldn't do without him as well. He's extraordinary. And, um, man, we love you all, and we look forward to solving more problems with you in the future. Talk to you all soon. See you.